evening. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Yes. Gridlock. That's what I came about. Or huh? playing the grid game. That's that's what we're going to play with. But I have been saying for years, okay, all of this stuff starts at YouTube, okay? It all starts there. That is one of the Google <clears throat> heads you need to get your head around, okay, if you want to win this type of war, okay? And it is kind of a war. You're always going to be competing against somebody else, okay? And you've just got to be up for the battle, and you've got to be consistent. You've got to be consistent with your message, okay? And it's got to be consistently within the grid you are working, okay? Because not all grids look like this, okay? Some grids have got things all over the place, all right? But we try to cover every single dot on the page. That's what we're going to try and do. But it does start with YouTube, okay? Or let's put it like this, a piece of content for YouTube. This is how we produce content daily, okay? And we create it a bit like, uh, let's go and have a look over here. I think this is where we want to be. Okay, that's our channel content. No, we're going to be over here. Sorry to apologize. So, yeah, YouTube is where it starts. YouTube is a content platform that Google happens to love. Okay, obviously, it's visual, <clears throat> but it's also informative. Put the two together, you've got yourself a winner. Put the third aspect in it, the geolocation tagging of it, okay, and you've got an even better results orientated platform that quite a few people use all right and you can still rank in google with your videos everybody doing that kind of stuff yes or no anybody i know no. quite a few are but let me hear some voices yes i do yeah okay yeah. so Yes, we've got a piece of content. Right now, I've been preaching this for quite some time. The content needs to be 1,500 words minimum, okay? Because you're going to use that within your blog posts, okay? But you're going to also use that content to create the video in the first place. Now, you guys who follow me around, you've already seen videos that I've done showing you how to create a video out of a piece of content, right? We use Lumen 5. That's what we use. It's our chosen oh. platform, and it works great for us again and again and again and again and again. And the nice thing with Lumen 5, okay, is that it will give you a shortened description once it's produced the video for you from your entire 1,500-plus word script. Did I make myself clear on that one? Okay. Yeah. Get yourself I, I a 1500 plus word script, very relevant. You can even make it very, very targeted to the location, the locations that you're playing with on your grids. Okay. And that's pretty much what I have done. Uh, well, actually, Chad, you're on the call here with us. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, so I'm going to use just one thing where we've tried to corner the VA loan market in Colorado. Okay, just one part of it. But it's it's the bits that I've been playing with while while creating the art types of article that are, are going to work. Okay, so... I'm going to show some of the VA loan res results in YouTube that we've done just over the last few days. Okay. This is one of them. This is the VA loans Greenwood Village, which mm -hmm. happens to be in. Call me back at 609. A part of Denver, I believe. Okay. Thanks. So, yeah, we got it. Right. We've got it already. And actually, we've got a second video in the number two slot for the same thing. Okay. Again, video, VA loans, Colorado. Yes, we've got it. Great. Okay, 
Long Consultants, Colorado. Yes, we command it. Great. Okay. And another one, Best uh, VA Loans, Colorado. Yeah, we've got that one too right now. Okay. And the thing is, they all have a way that they are done. Okay. So I'm just going to go to this one right now. I'll stop it playing. And this is pretty much how we set up our YouTube uploads. Okay. And it is part of this game you're playing, the grid game, the grid iron game. <laughs> it's, it's probably the new grid iron game for SEOs. So this is how we set them up. Okay. Yes, of course, we're going to go for the main keywords and stuff in the title. Okay. Obvious. Most of you are SEOs and, and you, you should be doing all of this kind of stuff. Okay. But we've been testing and testing and testing. Okay. Now, obviously, this is for Colorado. So you've already seen I have geotagged it as being Colorado because we're after it. The whole of Colorado, not just a bit of it. We're trying to do the whole the whole state. Okay. So that's why we tag it for Colorado. Other videos such as, hang on, let's have a look here. Uh, well, the Greenwood Village one, we'll use that one as an example. Okay. That one is tagged to Greenwood Village. It's an obvious thing to do. Google pretty much tells you to do that. Everybody agree with that or not? Come yeah. on, let's hear some voices. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best and easiest way for you to geotag. Tag it. Google gives you the option, do it. You can even put in, and this is where we're going to go back to our little dots. Okay, so let's say I wanted to be, I'd made one for, hang on, what would that be? Nudgy or Nudgy Beach. Okay, so we'd make a video for Nudgy. And we could actually target that precise coordinate that's given to you right here. Okay, we can even search Google for it and it'll take us exactly where it is. Okay, so we'd, we'd make whatever it is. It could be a carpet cleaner, Nudgy. It could be... I don't know. It could be anything. Okay. But tag them. Make the videos. Take the time, okay, to give either yourself or your clients exactly what they want. Does that make sense? <clears throat> okay. So from a grid perspective, we will look after the client and hit it 81 times with video. Okay. We might even hit it 81 times with the associated content for it. However, sometimes you can repurpose content as you all well know. Yeah. So, if you want to win, win the war completely, video has got to be a part of your game. Okay? And you can geolocate that video very accurately with the coordinates that you give it. It'll tell you exactly where it is. Okay? But if you're looking at your maps as well, you know, there'd be, you know, maybe this number two over here that's close to Brisbane Airport. I might, I might do a, a, a video for... Uh, I don't know, a taxi service for Brisbane Airport. I'd actually make that video. I'd actually get that content produced for that taxi driver. Are you following along? Yeah. You produce the whole thing yourself. You get your content, you create your video from it. Lumen 5 does that beautifully for us time and time again and also adds a voiceover. Okay, it's only one one voice on it, but it's perfect. It's great. It works with every video, right? You don't need anything more than that. 
Okay. So video, first point of attack. Yeah. This is what we're attacking first. We're attacking the video. Okay. And we're going to start hitting all these 81 locations that we can, which correspond to our grids. Okay. Now, when I show you, oh, not on that one. Sorry, it's on this one. Okay. You can see that we've also on this one included the business site as the link. Okay. But we don't always include the business site. A lot of the time, we include a driving direction from a certain location to the client. And that is actually better because it geolocates it way more than the business site does. Although a business site with proper verification and a postcard and all that kind of stuff, okay? Yeah? It's going to have the advantage every time. But you can just do a driving direction. It could be for from the far end of one grid back to, to there. And we do it all the time. And we're going to show you where we do that all the time, okay? Because following on from the last time I, I came on with the lounge pants, okay? And we showed you how we created this, okay? We created the whole thing and made it nice and friendly, okay? To Phoenix. <clears throat> Did it have the desired effect? Yes. Okay, so when we went and Googled it, okay, failure to diagnose a heart attack in Phoenix, yeah, it worked nicely. It also worked nicely for, for the client. And it also worked nicely with the YouTube. And they've all stuck, okay? These are going back into, well, late October when we, we when I last did a lounge pants. Okay, so it's been almost yeah. a month. And since we created this one, and we showed you exactly how we created it. I told you that we used Rank Fortress's um, location plugin. You all knew that, yes or no? No. Yes. Okay. But that's how we did it, okay, to localize it this way, okay? But since a month ago, we've taken the information that was being kicked out, okay, and we've tweaked it. I even showed you a video on how we tweaked the plugin to suit what we want to do. But in its original form, we just did this, all right? It was just using the plugin, just showing you how it worked, okay? And if we click on any of these, let's say, uh, where, 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 okay, let, let's try this in Canto Village. This is what the plugin will currently do. The Rank Fortress plugin, the location plugin, this is what it currently does, okay? It just links it directly to the map for the village. That's all it does, okay? That's what we were doing about a month ago, okay? We've now upped the ante, okay? I t told everybody that it was a new benchmark. I showed everybody the new benchmarks in our, in our group, and this is the new benchmark to get what you need to win the grid war, okay? And still, it uses a part of the Rank Fortress plugin, okay? But we've also taken part of it and commanded it a, and directed it a little bit better to suit the location, okay? So I'm going to take you from the top to the bottom. I'm not going to go into exactly how we create all these things. Well, I've pretty much told you how we create the, the video. The video is created on Lumen 5, okay? We always recommend everyone, okay, put the video just one paragraph away from what you want to rank for, okay? Just just one paragraph away. Because when they come on here and they start scrolling, they hit a video, they want to watch it. Okay? And they'll go and watch it. Uh, 
this one happens to be probably about 2,000 odd words. Okay, so we've we've pretty much did the unique image for it, the unique widget, the unique image within this article or this piece of content. This is linked. It goes to exactly where the client wants it to go or you want it to go. A little bit further down, we have embedded, okay, a business site, okay, straight in to the page, okay? And it, the first thing they'll come across, if you're coming across a, a mobile phone, the first thing they'll come across is make an appointment. And if they don't quite hit the make an appointment and they scroll, start scrolling past, it takes quite a while to get past th this bit of scrolling on a, a smartphone, I can assure you. Okay, and it gives the client several opportunities and it also geolocates the article again with another map. Okay, inside the iframe. Also, you're pretty much telling it, look, this is the address of this article too. Okay. Going further down, okay, we have for us always within whatever website we're working on, we also try to put some kind of uh, relevancy to internal links, okay? So, yes, on this one, this is all about FHA loans, okay? So we're actually going to do an internal link to what VA loans are. They're very related to one another, and that's just a nice way to keep the internal juice of whatever, whatever website you want to be using okay going further down okay we throw in a brought to you by okay and again we're pretty much using the keywords we want to use for the client okay and it's right there that will go directly to the client site to their home page not the internal page like the image does above but to the home page okay or Again, if you didn't hadn't embedded the business site, you could put a G page link there. That's perfectly okay. We're also including in articles now a call us today button. Okay, so they can actually telephone out on this on these buttons now. Okay. We embed another map in and we keep going. Okay. And then we hit the reviews for this particular area that's done by rank fortress okay this part here things to do near greenwood village this is also done by um <coughs> this is also done by rank fortress okay and these links are not really ones we want to know much about because it just goes to a google map okay but what we have improved is the area here which was on the old one okay where i had phoenix neighborhoods okay we've changed it now to actually do the keywords that we want okay and we include the near me and now all of these areas okay should be within your grid okay and you can go back and reference the grid and you can actually pretty much look behind this grid Okay, or if you want, you can make it bigger and go and look for areas. Okay, and pick those areas and start making the videos again. And you go back into the process. But part of this content that we produce, okay, part of the content that we produce, we use as either a the script to feed Lumen 5. Lumen5 spits out a video with voice for us. It also spits out a shorter description. In other words, the parts of the content that Lumen5 has used to give you like a minute or a minute 20 video. Take that description. You can use that description and spin it many times and use it as the description within your YouTube videos. And that's pretty much what we did here. Can you see all this content here? This is about 600 words. There or thereabouts. It's all very, very relevant. Okay. 
And that is just a spun piece of content, really. Okay? It's not spun. It's paraphrased. You all also know that I use um, Quillbot, okay, to paraphrase this stuff. And you can paraphrase it several times in different categories to make it all sound different. So you can use it on a video description many, many times. That then allows you, okay, power all the time. And we're just, we're just playing at the moment. I'm just playing in the background, okay, adding different places that are within the grid and watching what it, it is going to happen to the grid. But it's not just the grid. You do get results back on Google, okay? And I can show you some results we had on Google. I think we already sh shared some of it. Hang on. Let's have a look. Um, okay. This is actually FHA home loans in Greenwood Village. Okay. That was one of the terms. And yes, actually, there are two videos here. Okay. One done by the actual client. Okay and one done by ourselves as a mirror. Who wants to know how we create the mirrors? And you're all going to laugh because it's an ancient tool and it still works today, guys. You want to know? Should we go hunting? Because I'm going to have to shut down an awful lot of stuff because, as you can see, I, I keep stuff open forever. Okay, so... Go and look for Mass Video Cloner 2 or Mass Video Cloner, okay? It's a snip at whatever price it is. It might even be free out there. Go and grab it. It, it If you want to do uh, clones of your videos really, really quick, like say you need 20 locations, okay, well, eventually you're going to need maybe 81, okay? If, if you're in a dense area, you might want 81. But you can easily spin, you know, with with Mass Video Cloner, 20 copies, 30 copies, no issues at all. And we keep those as part of our arsenal as we go through the grid and target more and more areas. Is everybody up to speed with me? Or am I going too fast? No. Anybody? No, that's fine. Anybody got any questions so far? Now, this is this is one of the reasons, okay, I, I said right at the beginning why we target YouTube first, because it works not just in YouTube. It does work in Google, okay? And you can maybe get some traffic through, maybe get some new customers. Fantastic. But that's what we do as part of our network. If someone comes to us and says, okay, we want to pr produce a piece of content, we'll produce that piece of content to the absolute limits. Okay? Now, going back to this FHA loans one, at the bottom here, like I said, okay, in the previous one, in the early days, it used to just go to uh, a Google map. Well, no, we changed it, okay? We actually now give them driving directions straight back to the client, okay, from that part of the grid. Yeah? We also, oops, sorry, let's do that again. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do Washington Park West. Okay, so if you do, it's going to the client. And this is pretty much free advertising for your client, okay? on any article you produce, whether you produce it on their homepage, whether you produce it within your own networks, whether you're putting it out there on Google and Bing and DuckDuckGo and God knows how many other search engines out there, okay? Everything I'm showing you works, okay? It works in combination. The video, now you've seen the content. Yes, everybody up to speed with the content? Or do you want me to spin through from top to bottom real quick? Just as a little recap? Okay. 
video. One paragraph from the top. <coughs> uh, what do people call these bloody things? Call to action buttons, okay? Very, very large, okay? Deliberately so, okay? Probably because we, you know, some people have got thick fingers on mobile phones, okay? And this will go to exactly where it needs to go. Business site, okay? Internal, that's relevant. Another one here, which will go to the home page, not to the internal page, the home page. Do have, if you're doing this for a client, have their call buttons there. If you want to reroute it and charge them that way, then use those kind of numbers, okay? It'll all work because they're all going to go to the same place, okay? Just general map, then lower down, we've got a little bit of a plug-in, the Rank Fortress plug-in, okay? Uh, little bit more of the Rank for Fortress, and then we play with this bottom bit, okay? Now we change all of these. Every single one of these will be a driving instruction to go to the client, Okay, every time. And we're just widening and widening the area for that client bit by bit by bit. Okay, and maybe we'll do one for Highlands Ranch down here. We might want to do for Stonegate even. Probably not, that looks quite boring. Okay, Lone Tree. Yeah, very lonely tree. But maybe Parker. Could be anywhere. Lakewood. We'd make a video, make the content, put it out there. It works, it works all the time, and it definitely helps you with your grids, okay? All the time you're ge geolocating these coordinates, all right? So now, what was the next part I was going to say to you guys I was going to talk about? We've done YouTube. We've done the SERPs and the content that you need. What else did I say that I would speak about? Oh, I'm going to have to have a look now. See, I'm going to have hey, to have, hey, to have David, a look inside the can group. I ask, can I ask a question? Yes, of course you can. So um, the driving instructions. So you haven't created a My Maps or anything. You've just done that in Google Maps and you just put in like what anyone would do, you know, from a location to a location and yes. then shared that map. You're not creating a my map, are you? No. Okay. No, it's a, it's a pure directions map. If it's within right. the, within a city, give it a walking map. If it's uh, you know a little bit further out, then yeah, a driving direction. Okay. Okay. From Thank the you. location that you're targeting on your grid, back to your client. Yeah. Got it. Each and every time. Now. Yes, the next bit I was going to talk about was, okay, so now we've got the content, right? Really now, okay, and I'm going to use shit hot content. This stuff is on fire. Yes, it uses Rank Fortress's plugin, okay, which I support fully, okay? But we mess with it, okay? We do some manual stuff. We only allow two pieces to run. One is the reviews part. And to be honest with you, we could use another plugin to do that. But no, we use the Rank Fortress one because the Rank Fortress one also, at one point, chucks this information out for us, the locations around that we want. It's only us that then goes and changes that. We do that manually. That's manual control, okay? No tool is going to automate this fully for you yet, okay? But anyway, now now we've got a piece of content, yeah? We've got a piece of content right here. So what are you going to do? This is heavily, heavily geolocated. You're going to take a piece of this, okay? You're going to take a chunk of this. Okay, for a, however far you want to go, okay? Probably about there would be long enough, okay? You're going to copy it. You're going to go to the GMB of 
either your GMB or your client's GMB. You're going to go to the GMB and you're going to share that content as a post. And you're going to say, you want to learn more, go to this post. And it will geolocate your GMB for that location. which improves things when you come to map results. And that's the war you're playing. You're playing a giant map. But in the case of this new world that we're living in now with Google, okay, it's all local. They want to keep people in their little spaces. And they, <laughs> anyway, that's taken it too far. So take a piece of this content, Rewrite it again. You can rewrite it or re-paraphrase it if you want to. You can do what you like. Go into the GMB post. Make a post for the location. In this case, this location was, I forgot. The location for this one would be Greenwood Village. Okay? That's what we're looking for. Okay? So you can put that as a post in your GMB and link it back to the article. Now, mine happens to be on our network, okay? But your articles will be either on your own sites or they're going to be on your client sites, okay? But this kind of stuff should work. I don't know. We've, we've not long been playing with this, but we'll give it a go. Hang on. Let's find a... There we go. There's an incognito one. Let's see how we're doing. Well, here we go. I think that was exactly what we were playing with anyway. All right. And you can see we're doing just fine on the videos. Okay. Haven't pulled the websites up with it yet, but it will come. But there are lots and lots and lots of other keywords that are already, uh, they're performing very well. And that's just in, in a few days. That's all I can say for you in that respect. And thank you, Chad, for allowing me to kind of talk about that. But it, it will work for anything, okay? You've made a piece of content, 1,500-plus words, okay? You make a video that goes with it. You make a nice eye-catching, you know, contact us, phone me, do whatever you want with me, okay? Kind of call to action. You now take a piece of that and add it to your GMB. So now you're covering YouTube, now you're covering the SERPs, and now you're going to cover the GMB as well. Okay? But on top of that, and I promised this is the final last little bit of it, okay, I'm going to talk about CTR Booster. Who's heard of it? Who's in it? Who's using it? How are you using it? I'm going to show you exactly how we use ours. <coughs> Okay. Anybody heard of it? Never heard of it? Using yeah, it. Well yeah, done, Danielle. I, I, I kind of know you're using it. Cool. Okay. So we're going to go in. Okay. This is CTR Booster running on a VPS happily 24-7, day in, day out, just going to visit people, saying hi, interacting with YouTube videos, um, um, interacting with GMBs, and, and we'll try and catch one for a GMB. Let's see if we can uh, – actually, I'll tell you what. I'll stop it for a minute, and we'll manipulate one for a GMB. Um, let's have a look. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take the one that we saw right at the beginning, okay, because we, we've already shown it, so we'll show you how it interacts with a Google Map. Okay, so let's, we should be able to start this. Yes, we do. Okay, so off it goes. This is CTR Booster in action. Okay. And it's now visiting, obviously, Google first. Okay. And for this particular project, okay, it's now going to look for Brisbane plastering. And this one does need a bit of work, Danielle. So it is getting there, though, I'll be honest. So you can see now the target is actually 
just out outside the top three. It's now at number four. Okay. So this is what a CTR booster does. It goes and visits the GMB. It's now going to go and read the reviews. And I believe once it's read the reviews, it's actually going to go to the website and interact with the website there as well. Okay. And this is actually how we set a project up. So if you're using CTR Booster, you want to know exactly what we do. This is ex exactly what we do. Actually, now we've connect, we've started to even um, lessen the internal links on the website to like 45 to 75 seconds because it works with the proxy rotation much, much better. All right. I know there's quite a few of you here. If you want to know what proxy I'm using, I'm using Garrett, ACOTS, uh, Turbo Proxy. Okay. Great piece of kit. Uh, and now after having a couple of conversations with Garrett over the last few days, um, they've come out with a brand new fix on CTR Booster. And it kind of cures the geolocation part itself. Okay. These are obviously all the coordinates they're going to come from, okay? And you can see I have an awful lot of them, okay? And what was happening, it wasn't quite hitting the geolocations that we want. Now, you might ask yourself, where do I get these geolocations? Well, again, whatever grid you're using, okay, you should be able to – hang on, I've lost myself here for a second – Oh, well, now you can see what it does. It's actually gone to the website. It's now interacting with that as well. Okay, so I'm going to close that. I just want to go back here for a minute and go to... Where was that? Oh, I've lost myself completely. Okay. Sure, I'm going to the right place. And what we want to go back to is our grids. Okay. Now, unfortunately for me, Grid My Business doesn't have, currently have, I have spoken to the de developers of Grid My Business as well. And um, we're asking them if we can have the data for those 81 points that we use on our reports. So we're hoping to get to be able to get that data at some point. At the moment, we have to do it all manually. So each point, so um, each point you have to visit. So you just click on it. Okay, it brings the coordinates up here. I don't know why I've got a cross on mine, but you just drag across. It's not easy to see. You drag across, right click on it, and then you can go and search Google with it if you want. Okay, and that's a nice point at which you can change it for CTR Booster so that CTR Booster can work with it. CTR Booster cannot work with a comma, comma space, but it can work with a colon. <coughs> Copy it, take it to CTR Booster, go to the project, use a custom job location, and just add it to the list. Okay, but you can see I've already pretty much filled the list up. Is that straightforward for everybody? Yeah. Okay. It's very, very simple. I hope I haven't taken up too much of your time. But that, in an absolute nutshell, is how to win that little battle you're having with those grids. Okay. YouTube is a part of it. Don't ever think it isn't. The content that you're producing on whatever platform that that you're <laughs> committing it to must be top quality, must have the right, uh, right signals for Google. Yes, you can send Google back on itself. Yes, we've done it on the videos where we're not sending them back to the business site. We send them back to another driving direction, which is very close to where the video is geolocated. Okay, and once we've got that content, we go and share it 
on our GMB. Once we've done all that, we then help things along gently, and I mean very gently, with, with some CTR manipulation, okay, to keep those properties exactly where they need to be, and that is number one on YouTube, hopefully <clears throat> very close to the top um, in actual Google search, Bing search, DuckDuckGo search, choose a search. <laughs>